All right, we're here and we're gonna make a great steak. I was gonna show you guys step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a 20-inch great steak out of a piece of two by four. So in our shop here, we have a scrap rack here where a lot of our all full comes from the projects we built. We're gonna pick and choose a two by four out of our rack here. We're gonna look it through real clear, make sure we have no nails in it. We're gonna make our great steak 20 inches long so we can pick from multiple pieces here, but we need to make sure we have something that's gonna be 20 inches long with no nails in it anywhere, all right? We're gonna have a square end here. We're gonna take it to the miter saw over here and we're gonna cut it 20 inches long first, this is step one. So when we get to the miter saw, just a bit of review, it may be in this position. You're gonna take your the knob here where my finger is, we're gonna push it down, pull the knob out, and now the saw is ready for use. All right, we're gonna check our one end for square here. We already have, it looks like it's square. So, so now that you're at the miter saw, you're gonna cut your piece 20 inches long. Okay, so you're gonna mark a crow's foot 20 inch. All right, and we're gonna cut it to the waist side of our line, which is gonna be on this side of our mark. When we're using the miter saw, there's no need to square it across. We're gonna take it over here, line it up with our mark, and we're gonna go ahead. So now our board should be 20 inches long when we're finished. Okay, we're making a great stick about 20 inches long to form up a sidewalk form. All right, so we cross cut it 20 inches. Now we're gonna take it over to the table saw. All right, the first thing we normally do is we turn the dust collector on. We're gonna skip this step so everyone can hear what's going on this time. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double check that my table saw is set at the right height. And again, when we're doing this, we want the gullets of the blade just above the inventory that we're gonna cut. Okay, so this looks like it's in the right shape. If it wasn't, we would adjust the height right here is where we'd have adjusted it. We went over that with the table saw test. Okay, so we're gonna get it where we want it, lock it into place with that knob. Now we know that our board is three and a half inches wide because it's a two by four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip it right down the middle of this, all right? So we're gonna set our fence now at half that distance. So we're gonna take our two by four, it's three and a half, halfway between there is gonna be one and three quarters, all right? That's where we're gonna rip it, down the one and three quarters mark. So now we're gonna adjust the rail over here on our front rail to one and three quarters Actually a little bit more than that, so it accounts for the saw curve, probably one and 13 sixteenths we're gonna rip it at. All right, so now the on switch is here. Pull the on switch out, put the guard down, and we're gonna go ahead and rip it. Now to check to see if I'm in the center, what I do is I'll check and it's, it's not quite right. All right, I have one and three quarters on that side. I have less on this side. So I need to adjust my fence in a little bit. And it looks like a little more than one and five eighths is gonna be the mark that we want. We'll check it again. We can flip it around and check it like this. Put a little mark on there and see if the little mark is in the middle. And it looks pretty good. All right, it's right about in the middle. All right, in both directions. We're checking for the same measurement. Now we can go ahead and rip it. Have your push stick handy. And when you're running it through, make sure you've got it with the push stick all the way through to the other side. Then shut the machine off. There must have been a nail in there somewhere because we saw some sparks. So. Sometimes they're hard to see, but we did get a nail. Sometimes that'll trip the sole stop, sometimes it won't. All right, um, so there's your two pieces now. Now the last part, or the third part that you mainly need to do is cut the angles on the ends of your great stake. So you're gonna come back to the miter saw here. You're gonna unlock it, push the knob in, and push it over to 60 degrees, all the way to the end here, okay? Now, to make this a little safer, there's a knob back here. We're gonna lock it into place 
so that the saw doesn't slide anymore. It just goes up and down like this, okay? I can't slide it back and forth. The chop saw, if you were using that, you wouldn't have to do anything with it. But with this compound slider, we're gonna make it so that we're just gonna chop it straight down. When we're gonna kind of just guesstimate here, look at our blade, see if it's about in the center. We're just making a grade stake so it doesn't have to be perfection. When we get about in the middle of the, the piece that we made, we're just gonna cut a tip, a point on the tip. Just like that, now I'll flip it over and I'll do it again. And now I'm... And when you're done, it should look something like this. All right, so that's the stake that we'll use to pound in the ground to attach our sidewalk form to. So in this project that you're getting started with, you're gonna need about 15 of these stakes per group. All right, you're gonna need six on each side, but often they get broken, so I would make maybe 15, all right? So that's how you're gonna make your grade stake for your sidewalk form project. Thank you.